Hello, everybody. I am going to catch my obligatory Pokemans. Here, let me make my slight adjustments. There we go. So we got the pristine audio going on, my friends. So we got... I've always loved this fan art. Or not fan art, you know, the... Because it's the developer's art. Really nice art. I'm in the middle of nowhere, by the way. So, holy crap, I could have been getting Pokestop stuff this whole time. I was just at a rehearsal that was outside. Oh, Alright, I'm going to catch this Bulbazoid. Here we go. Yeah. Great. I don't do the curveball thing. I'm not that fancy. Yeah. Ah, oh, you stupid. Ah, oh, you flat. Ah. Oh. Excellent. Alright, I'm going to get a bell sprout. I got a perfect, perfect statted uh, victory bell. Perfect three star humongous PP of a victory bell. So I'm going to catch this one with the pineapple berry. So I get more of that juice, more of that berry juice for my uh, my candies. There we go. Four day streak. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Check it out. Let's, let's appraise it. Yeah, I said I knew it would have a small peepee. -pee. So I got 67. Going to transfer that boy. See how many items I got. Yeah, I'm gonna catch some Pokemon to burn some, through some Pokeballs. Burn through some bowels. Uh, Chikorita. Can't get the Gen 1 starter. I'll get the Gen 2 starter. Here we go. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Get in my belly. There you go. Okay, let's see. Let's measure its peepee. -pee. Nope, not a very nice people. A gulpin. Gonna get the gulpin. I'm just gonna catch you. Catch you with a great ball. Or should I use a pokeball? I kind of want this instant gratification going. There we go. There we go. Okay. for that Venonat I don't know for you guys Venonats always run away I don't know if that's something that you guys notice with the uh, your Venonats but anytime I fail to catch it it just fle flees fleds it flees runs away it is a flea like it could okay it didn't run away that time but more often than not I've always had Venonats just I don't know, just peace out for no reason. Like that. See, it happened. Venonats have less of a tolerance, I swear. Um, I kind of want to not get catch a new Pokemon. Because I want to save that XP whenever I get a double XP. And I'm hatching an egg. There's a Wurmple. Little Wurmple. You know, I named a a Weedle Wormpole because I didn't think that they would expand beyond Gen 1. But or, And I also have a Beedrill named Combi that I don't want to get rid of because I've had it since 2016. So that's how they get you, man. That's how they get you to spend money through sentimental uh, microtransactions. Just waste a Pokeball. There we go. Using more Pokeballs, you know, might be, might be the thing, man. Some whoops. All right. Whoa, look at the, holy crap, look at the attack on that one. Full attack, no defense. That's just a glass cannon. Uh, it's not worth keeping, though, because, like, you no, know, no, what is it, a zero star? Yeah, yeah, screw that. Yeah, you You got you got all length but no girth, my friend. That is a, still a small peepee. -pee. 
Here's a snubble. A snubble. 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 It's foggy out. I should probably leave. I don't belong here right now. Ooh. I forgot snubble's a fairy type. That's confusing to me. It's like grumpy looking. Pink means fairy. I gotta check my Pokedex, see if I got a... Is that a Venipede? I forget. I, I don't really know much about Gen 5, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's a Venipede. Okay. Gonna catch this Venipede. It's my daily. My daily Venipedes. Ooh, he's a mean one. There you go. Tink. Tinkity-took. Pokemon. Gotta catch him. Ow, ow. Yeah. Pokemons. Like how you see more of my face when he breaks free. Alright, I think I'm gonna, gonna roll on the big guns here. Wow, he keeps jumping. He needs a nanab. Or banana spelled backwards. I like what you did there, Game Freak. I'm gonna do a curveball. I know I said I never do the curveballs, and that's why, because I waste them. And I never reach the target. So, yeah. Yeah. That should have been my one and only catch of the day. Man, that would have been tough. Okay, and it's not a very big pee, -pee. You're going away. But I do... Oh, there's another gulpin. Oh, sorry. Sorry, folks. I gotta catch this gulpin before I go. Gulpin. Gulpin. Gotta catch him. Pokemon. There we go. So you wanna be a mess of Pokemon. <laughs> I love that one. I gotta... It'd be cool to do a cover of that song. Because that's the lesser popular uh, Pokemon song. Because I see all these musicians doing like... Do I want to be the very best? Do -do -do. But it's like overdone now. It's like Freebird. Freebird. Free stuff. Nice. Yeah. Free money. Socialism. It doesn't work. It's not a permanent solution. We need capital gain in order to... Oh, I always got to bring politics into this. All right, so I've been holding... I've been blue balls in these. And I'll open up Marcus's. Marcus 7004. Bulbasaur. And an eggy. And a great ball. Awesome. Thank you, Marcus. You're a, you're a saint. Yeah, let me send you something. Let me give you some sugar for your troubles, baby. Yeah, Wyndham. All good. Good old Wyndham. Good old Wyndham. Koala Condor. I forget who this guy is. Um, I forget when I, who I added for this guy. Also, Ruby, if you're watching this, I sent you a present, and I've been trying to get you to play Pokemon Go so we can, like... Send each other stuff. I see your Ivysaur back there. Your your Ivysaur, you know. I, I don't pretend I didn't notice. All right, Joy. Which I believe that's Alana. She's been getting stuff from the United Kingdom. So basically, the Galar region. If you want to be technical. Oh, that's some some stuff right there. I got some potions. You are a saint for sending me stuff. Yeah, you're getting that. You're getting that one. Guy, see, see, look at me. There's James. Actually, this guy's a member of the band. He's a trumpet player. Um, um the rehearsal I was just at. Ooh, I got an egg and a revive. Ooh, look at that. Let's let's try and click through this so I could get going, so we could all get going. Um, yeah, this one. See, I provide the sugar. I provide the sugar. All right, cuz. Give me your, give me your stuff. Oh, no! 
I can't. That was the one I couldn't get. We're almost super best friends. Ultra friend. Excuse me. Um, good friend, great friend, ultra friend, and then best friend. Okay, that's the levels. Ultra friend, like the, um, what is it? The Alola region. Everything's got to be ultra. But best friends. We're almost best friends, cuz. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Get in the ball. Get in the ball, Turtwig. Eat Turtwig. All right. I got to get out of here. Oh, I got extra raspberries. Raz with R-A-Z-Z -Z is the spelling. Pokemon is so cheesy. I love it. There's a great ball. I greatly enjoy the great ball. Alrighty, Great Ball. I don't know about you guys, but Great Ball doesn't look good on a starter Pokemon. It's got to be either an Ultra Ball or a Poke Ball. Great Ball, I don't like the design on. I feel like the, the the thingies on the side really throw it off for me. Okay, so I I did burn up a couple items so I could still get some sugar. There we go. Bidoof. Bidoof. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's a tank. I'm conflicted. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say... That's average size PP, but like... I mean, am I really gonna keep a Bidoof for anything? They all say Magikarp is pathetic, but they've really balanced Magikarp out. I'm thinking like Bidoof is like the number one, like, loser Pokemon... I hate, that's so harsh though. I don't like to, because Bidoof is so lovable and I I just want to make him viable too, just like Magikarp. Like if Bidoof could learn Splash just like Magikarp, then Z Splash could, you know, uh, wipe the floor with everybody. All right, because he also has that secondary uh, water type element. I'm assuming he could learn Surf. Now let's get this sugar a going. A Torchic, Great Ball, and a Pokeball, and a Stardust, and a... I'm out of sugar. Or I'm tapped out with the sugar, but at least I could send my cuz some good stuff. I'm gonna send you there. There's some good stuff. Yeah, I gotta get the upgrade. Eventually, I gotta get the upgrade, but... Like, I've, been, I've had this, literally, this balloon looming over me because I can't defeat the admins because my Pokemon aren't that good <laughs> but ever since the beginning of the game here let me just click on a Pokemon I have over I almost have a million Stardust st saved up like a three quarters of a million almost three quarters of a million Stardust saved up so I'm I'm rolling in it I just I'm waiting for the most applicable time oh it's a girl executor I couldn't tell because she's so tall. I got a lot of Stardust that I've been saving up ever since the beginning of the game. I don't know what I'm going to use it on. But I want to use it on, you know, a Pokemon like this. The Bellsprout. That's like, you know, pretty... Uh, let me, let's appraise it. I think I showed it to you guys earlier time. But full three stars. Check that out. Really good Pokemon. But of course it's a Victory Bell. It's like not a competitive type Pokemon. It just has the best stats. Well, anyways, I think that's it for now. Just wanted to do my dailies and uh, keep you guys involved, I guess. <laughs> I, I want to make shorter videos of this, just doing dailies and stuff. Oh, oh, Charmander found some sugar right before I was about to log out. Thanks, Charmander. You're a saint. I will give you Snuggies. And let's look at... Okay. Yeah, I'm almost up there. I want to document this uh, level 30 quest. And that's why I'm, you know, paying attention to my dailies and I'm documenting them. Feels like uh, Pokemon Go is like a totally different genre from Pokemon. And it's the only offshoot game that's retained its popularity, I feel. So, good on you, Niantic, for keeping Pokemon Go very relevant in the Pokemon community. And it, I think it's tying in rather well, and I'm excited for the Megas to come in. 
anyways, um, I'll leave it at that, and you all have a wonderful day, and see you next day. See you tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Catch them all, folks. Okay, everybody. So, I found a lily pup, but unfortunately, I'm saving myself for when I do another lucky egg thing. Because I haven't caught a lily pup yet, and I don't really have a huge need to get a stout lend. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be... Uh, it's a lot of background noise, so I'm going to have to talk really close. I'm just going to have to go a couple of feet to the neighbor's house. It's in the middle of the night. Hopefully they don't think I'm such a creep. Alright. Here's where we're going. Okay. Okay. There we go. Wormple. Okay. I'm on the street right now. In the middle of the night. Got to do my dailies. Here we go. Is it going to be a one shot? All right. Boom. Got it. Sweet. Seven bug type, too. Five day streak. Happy Friday, everybody. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Let's let's check it out. All right, small peepee. Goodbye. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm going to catch my daily Pokemon of the day, and we are going to catch them all, I feel. At least most of them, for now. Ooh, Vulpix. And let's get this Vulpix. Ooh, it's a... It's a feisty Vulpix. Gonna have to use a great ball. There we go. Great ball, go. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. And that is the six day streak brought to you by PD and the PD channel. Let's appraise it. Let's measure its pee pee. Small pee pee. There we go. How close am I to level 30? Okay, and tomorrow I'm going to get like 7,000 if I make the daily streak. It's cutting it close because it's almost midnight. Um, well, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Hey everybody, here, back again to do the dailies. Let's, uh, get queued up, baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna catch my seventh Pokemon of the day. Because it's Sunday. I've been doing it all in sequence. Ooh, an eggy. Let's see what we got. A Galarian Stunfisk. Let's measure its peepee. -pee. That's a decent sized peepee. -pee. I'll keep it. And now we're gonna incubate this guy. There we go. I see. A female Nidoran. It boggles me that they're not the same species. I think there was some... God damn it. Oh, no way. No way. Marcus and I are ultra friends. I am honored. See, this is what supplying the sugar gets you. Let us see. Yay. Level 30, biatch. Check that out. I'm happy. <laughs> I thought this was going to take another week to do. Wow. Level 30. And I got it on video, too. Check it out. Nice. My items are probably way... Yeah, I'm way overboard with the items. Let's, let me check my stats now. How much... Oh, okay, five hundred thousand till uh, till the next level. So this is gonna be a 
long gradual climb and I'm not going to be able to open gifts for weeks. Jeez. Oh look. Speaking of which, Charmander got me a gift. <laughs> That's awesome. Something to send out to friends. Um, but my Nidoran got away so I'm going to have to walk. So I'll pause it right here. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, here we are out in darkness. Here we are out in darkness. I am uh, just making my gentle stride to the next door neighbor's house because that's where they have, that's where the next available Pokemon is. So that's where I'm going with it. Um, yeah. The Team Rocket Balloon is following me. <laughs> I do this way too often. Another female Nidoran. Okay, hopefully this one isn't a two-faced biatch. Alright. It's a nice throw. The last one I did was a great throw, so hopefully this one stays in. Jeez. You flaky queen. All right, seven day streak on the same day. Nice. Seven day streak on the same day as getting level 30. Today is a wonderful day. I never thought I would make it to level 30. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Like I thought I was just gonna uh, fail. Um, but I don't know. I thought I was just gonna fall off. After, like, the fad went away and I was moved on to Sun and Moon. Because Pokemon Go came out, then Sun and Moon came out. And I'm like, oh, man, I got to drop Pokemon Go to play Sun and Moon. Because the weather's crappy outside. Because, you know, I'm in the Northeast and it's too cold. But, um, I got back to it. I don't know why I'm still playing it. I think it's because... Cars are passing by. But I think it's because of the cross compatibility that Niantic and the Pokemon Company have been doing. Like, and I think that's the reason, the, the major reason why Pokemon is so dang successful is because the cross compatibility, the ability to transfer Pokemon between generations is such an innovative thing that I hope that their cross compatibility happens in reverse too, where there's like this central hub of like a, uh, um, what is it? There's like a central game that's like Pokemon Battle Revolution, but you can port Sun and Moon Pokemon and battle Sun and Moon uh, version Pokemon into there with the Mega Evolution mechanic and the Z Crystal mechanic along with. And it's like it would be a cool amalgamation of all the different games into one. I don't know how you can make that technologically viable, considering it, it would be on multiple platforms. But I have the confidence to believe that Nintendo has the capacity to do something like that. And it would also make the 3DS... Um, people would buy a 3DS more commonly. Um, I don't know. Some food for thought. That's a concept that I had in my head cooking for a, a long time, but I haven't really talked to anybody about it or anything like that. Um, well, anyways, level 30. Awesome. And what a week it's been. I'm glad I've been filming these because I really like capturing the different, uh, I guess, step ladders that I do. I'm, not, I'm nowhere near level 40, and there's probably... Like I said before, hundreds of thousands of people up to max level and have even doubled their max level. But I'm happy where I'm at, you know. I don't really care about being competitive or anything like that. I just love Pokemon. And I've loved it since 1996. And you know what? Nobody can take that away from you. Oh, the screen locked. <laughs> I've been talking too much. All right, you guys. Gotta catch them all, I suppose. <laughs> Take care.